Warning, this video is for a general audience and can be enjoyed by all ages. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to an old set I have the box for. Wow. He was in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> and today, we have the lift and load cargo set. A set that is better than the 2022 sets. Because there's only one 2022 set. And it's way too expensive. But we'll get into our opinions that are not that are right. But before <laughs> we get to that, we do need to review probably the worst thing about the set. Are Man. you kidding me? Not this guy? Girl. You can't have a guy anymore. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, great. If you could review, Charlie. Okay. Uh, honestly, I mean, Charlie, he's an annoying character. No one likes him. Horrible. Horrible. Disgusting. So, I mean, honestly, this is pretty accurate. I mean, he is pretty disgusting. And like, yeah, and I mean, it really captures how captures much you should never buy this. And They have to put him in a set just so you're forced to get him. Right, and you're... It really <laughs> captures his personality. Empty. I mean, the yeah, empty. <laughs> like, the bare wood essentials. The bare minimum, even though it's <laughs> below the min it's, minimum. Which just exactly where he belongs, honestly. No, not an Honestly, this is a great model. I mean, it's very The accurate. red looks makes the whole thing look ugly. It's it's perfect. Follows. I mean Yeah, I All right, anyways, don't That's know the how best part about it. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we have troublesome trucks that are actually kid friendly. Unlike 2022. So you know the 2020, you know, they tower over, they're like giants. Okay, time Com out. Hold up. What? The 2022 Troublesome Trucks are awesome. Yeah, but let's hear this out. Hey, let's slow down. <laughs> so these Troublesome Trucks here are in scale to the things. They may be a little wider, but... They may have a random lever. That's the point, Grant, that these Troublesome Trucks... Unlike the new ones, which just have molded in stuff, these ones actually work for, like, cranes and all these other things. You can move them yeah, that's true. out, and, you know, they're actually, you know, Usable. usable. Yeah, mm -hmm. those new ones. Oh, they look so nice. They're all nice. All of them go giants. But, you know, <laughs> you can't actually play with them. Like, these ones, you can dump the cargo, I guess. They I say we go back to original one. Wouldn't really. Yeah, but we don't have that anymore, all right? We're reviewing the set. It all right, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Mattel can't do good things anymore. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of good things, I think this crane, if it had paint, is and honestly really fun. totally different. What? It doesn't look that good. The color scheme. Yeah. Yeah, if, I mean, if it had paint, change the color. It, but the crane itself is really fun. If it was, Having like, a character, this, too. If... What? Gave us Reg? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So I really like the crane overall, though. It's... I don't think there should be a person. I mean, it's a little better, but it looks like a car. <laughs> <laughs> they probably used a car mold, to be honest. Probably. This looks like a Brio set, does it not? Yeah. But, you know, with the Mattel charm to make it look bad. Um, <laughs> one thing that also ticks me off is these awful plastic pieces, right? If you're going to have them and just get rid of the point of buying the set because you want them to go off the track, why do you include three but then not have four? <laughs> that is cruel. <laughs> All right, um, back to complimenting it. This plastic point is honestly amazing. And if, you know, it didn't have awful wood couplings, I would totally bring it to the layout. Except it's plastic. Except I said it that besides I mentioned that oh, okay. there's also that sign on the box is not where it should be. Oh yeah, you can put it there, but you know there's literally a spot for it. I mean the box got the troublesome truck faces wrong, so the box is that helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, you also have this um thing which is also really fun That's to actually do. Actually, kind of cool. Yeah. Wow. Honestly. Out of all the wood sets, this one's definitely the one that's actually worth the money if it made a loop. Yeah. <laughs> if it if didn't... If it wasn't just, like, a point mm -hmm. and a destination. I think this also got discounted to, like, 20 bucks. So, like... That's a steal. Not anymore, though. 
but like when right. it came out, it was discounted to 20 and that is the perfect price. Considering you get a circle, you don't even get straights these days. You're not allowed to hit those, and you pay $65 for six curves and a four point. Yeah, and you get, you get... Sorry about that. <laughs> you got three straights. Three straights. Like That's like 20 bucks to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straights like... Oh. Especially wood straights? Like, who has wood straights? <laughs> wood Four straights. Straight. Four straight. Boom. And just like that, wood is better than 2022. Wood yeah. and railway. Yeah. It, I'm sorry. Yes, it's true. It's true. The sets are better. And everything about them. No, okay, let's let's not get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just just the set part. I I hate 2022. Well, yeah, you're Grant. So I, they stole the name Wooden Railway and ruined it. Yeah. Go back to 2003, and by 2003, I mean anything between 2003 and 2010. But <laughs> 20, <laughs> my point wow, is, you know bias, that. my. And that's what the wheel says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think 2013 was pretty good. Did that say 2003 on the wheel? If it says 2003 on the wheel, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You want to end the video now? If you guys like this video and want to see more like it, then like, comment, and subscribe.